Alright, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Ranking of Kings episode 23. Uh, last episode was interesting. Uh, it was very divided and kind of a split opinion on the kind of episode. Uh, on one hand, it was kind of Dida and uh, Miranjo. It was just very, this situation's kind of weird, you know? Um, but, you know, there's a lot of viewpoints to look at it from from within the show, I suppose, within the times, stuff like that. It's it's unusual, especially considering how absolutely amazing the story has been so far. But we'll see if this episode wraps it up in some kind of way. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, I'm just very much looking forward to the finale, but I'm also very sad that we will not be getting any more weekly boji. But yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want new. And let's go into this episode right now. Oh, last time I'm going to hear this intro before... Well, in an episode. The King and the Son. Yeah, she has. I don't know about that. She went through some shit, but she's done a lot of shit to a lot of people. Yeah, uh, um, I mean, I'm with you, Helling. This is a weird fucking situation. And shit, okay, well, if Boji and Kage together, then who am I to argue? But, Boji, just remember that she killed your mum. Don't forget that, please. Wow, dude. Wow. I still think she should have, like, some kind of punishment for this. I don't know. I mean, it might, be, it might have been kind of nice there to have her dead dad, though, with her dead mom as well. That would have been cool, maybe. But no, he's just a forgotten wizard. How about you especially apologize to Boji? Oh, yeah, I mean, okay, he has the makings of a king, but, like, there's the real king right there. You're goddamn right. You're goddamn right! Okay, good. That's my guy. Let's go, Dada. Let's fucking go. Is this the first time we see Dida use sign language? Oh, Boji. You got all you got all your squad supporting you, bro. You got this. <laughs> oh, Kage. <laughs> You're such a confidence boost. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna cry. Kage, you're such a goat. <laughs> All this time, they didn't realize. Oh, even that snake crying, dude. Bruh. Yeah, yes, let's fucking go. King Boji. Bro, this is a fucking great episode already. Holy shit. Who the hell's this? Oh, these guys. Wow, I haven't seen them in about 20 episodes. For real. <laughs> Fair enough. I get it. Were these, like, the two guys that actually voted for Boshi, if I remember correctly? <laughs> Just dodging them. Oh, he was scared. Wow. Damn, they threw this fuck. They did not throw this dude that high. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's never had anything like this. Oh, someone throw Kage too. Come on. <laughs> he just throw his wife up there too. Okay. Uh, Kage, where are you going? Kage? What? Are you nuts? Kage, if you don't get your ass back to that throne room. Kage, you are like 70% of the reason that Boji is where he's at right now. Oh, 
Boji, Kage isn't here. God, I can't believe after all this time he thinks of himself like this. Boshi, what the fuck? Why did you not notice Kage is gone? Oh, now he notices? I guess he's busy with his kingly duties, but still. Did he manage to sign that or did they just understand what he was saying? I like how the episode's built up so far, where it's like all the cool, amazing stuff in the first part. And then the latter part of the episode will be more focused on Kage. I think that's cool. Oh, man. Bevan watched him, like, go away as well. I don't know. I thought he was going to stop him. I, I like Boji and his tiny crown. They should make him a tiny crown. Damn. King. Oh, and all the underworld soldiers are here? Oh, he's got Oaken in that rock. Wow. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, dude, that was the goddamn king guy that got thrown into the forest. I remember. Oh, no, what is he doing? Why, dude? Bro, he's breaking Oaken out. Fuck. Dude, he's immortal. Does he not know this? King Bo, you're a dumbass, dude. I mean, this is what I said, actually, in the start. Just yeet him into space or something. And then he gets eaten by a fish. And he will still somehow reconnect to his body. I'd say that's kind of torture, but also, like, he was, like, condensed into a baseball in, in put in a rock. We kind of time skip in here, bro. Oh, I thought that was Kage. He's doing his job well, though. Even with Kage not here. Yeah, but you know how, Kage, how much Kage means to him, dude. And everybody saw it. Like, what Kage did for Boji in that moment when he was feeling down about himself. God. Oh, I can't take it when he, like, get the, he gets the little highlight on his eyes like that. Oh, it makes me emotional. What are you doing out here, Kage? Oh, that's where you're going to live, dude. Is he still in the kingdom or is he in a different kingdom? Oh, people are so mean to him. Let the little blob work. Wow. Wow. These fucking pieces of shit, bro. Oh no, someone fucked up his house. Kage, you're supposed to be a knight. Come on. Snake. I guess that wasn't one of Bebin's snakes, or it's just a random snake? They need each other, man. They really do. I feel like he must know in some way that he's wrong. So why wouldn't you just talk about it with Bodgy? Why would you just assume the best thing to do is to leave? Is it actually him? Is he here? Oh, oh, Bevin snakes. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Wait, has he quit being king? Has he given up on king? True. That's true. I hope he hasn't actually given up on being king. By your teacher? Interesting. Future plot. Oh. oh. Killing. Best mom. Oh my god, Baji. You should have just brought him back. 
He can still be king with Kage. <laughs> what? Okay, that's cool. I mean, shit. Okay, I'm for this. Okay, I'm actually glad. Yeah, I want more adventures. And this sounds awesome. So have they just left him to go on adventure on his own with Kage? Like, nobody's gonna help him or anything like that? I mean, shit, fair enough. Ah, <sighs> yes. I love it. So, that was Ranking of Kings, episode 23, the finale. Uh, it was a really, felt like a really quick episode. Well, it probably wasn't, but it felt really quick. Um, damn, I, uh, I, 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 I'm really happy with that ending. Um, obviously, at the start, when we were having questions about Ranjo, everybody kind of forgave her. Um, even Boji and Kage, which is kind of the, my main reason as to why I still wasn't 100% for Moranjo. Still probably not 100% for her. It's still a bit of a, it's kind of a weird situation. But everybody's happy. She's happy. Dida's happy. All the squad's happy. I was surprised. I was really surprised there that Kage was still doubting himself as to obviously would he actually be needed by Ka um, Boji. Uh, of course, you know, he'd probably have these feelings, but I'm really glad that it's turned out how it has. Uh, I wanted Ka I wanted Kage, not Kage, Boji. I wanted Boji to be king, but the way he explained it and with all the duties of being a king, I understand why he relinquished it to Dida. And to continue to the st continue the story on like this, with this idea of Boji being able to create his own kingdom, with Kage by his side, I am 100% behind, and I hope this leads on to Season 2 soon. I hope it leads on to Season 2, but I hope it leads on to it soon. Um, but yeah. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching this series along with me this season. I really enjoyed it, and it was 100% my, my anime of the year, 2021. Um, and uh, yeah, as always, like the video if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and peace out, guys.